let me write out this right angle triangle here because we are looking for one of these side lengths and we are given the hypotenuse. So Pythagoras' theorem looks like this, as we know. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now C squared here, C, refers to the hypotenuse. Now in this particular instance, it's already given. So we can actually put the number in there. So we can just go in and say, well, that's going to be 75. So let's put that in. All squared. Now, one of the sides is already given to, which is 62 right across there. So let's put that in too. So that's 62 all squared. Now, the A, or the other length right here, connected to the right angle, is just, we'll call it X as it is labeled there. So let's just write down X squared. So the theorem and the equation looks like this. X squared plus 62 squared. They're the two lengths connected to the right angle. X squared plus 62 squared equals the hypotenuse all the way across there, that very long length, 75 squared. Now, remember what I said earlier? We subtract whenever we're given the hypotenuse and we're looking for one of the side lengths. So what does that mean? It means we're going to get something like this. X squared equals, and then we take away this and bring it over to that side. So then it becomes 75 squared minus 62 squared. So let's subtract that from both sides. So I'll just go minus 62 all squared and then minus 62 all squared on that side too. So then, quite simply, this drags down over here and this cancels. So let's work with this side here. So we'll get 75 all squared minus 62 all squared. So as I said earlier, I'll just recap. When we are given the hypotenuse across there, it's the hypotenuse minus one of the side lengths, which is that one across there. So now we can solve because we can see we've got a subtraction there. So it's going to be x squared equals, well, on the calculator, 75 squared is going to be, let me just check on that, that's going to be 5625. Take away 62 all squared, let me check that, that's 3844. 3844. Okay, put that into your calculator and we'll end up with x squared equals 5625 take away 3824 will give us 1781. So let's write that in. 1781. Now remember it's x squared so we need to square root both sides. So let's do that. So we square root the left hand side and we also square root the right hand side. That's right, like that. So the square root of x squared reverts back to just a normal x. So x equals, and that's the length across here that we're looking for. And the square root of 1781 is 42.20 meters. Take a minute to check out our website at http colon forward slash forward slash www.vividmaths.com. You'll find additional resources, cheat sheets, transcripts, and other maths videos that are not available on YouTube. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to get access to all the written answers for your maths questions plus other special offers.